just like Lori Harvey said. Pilates, it changed my life. Before we dive into what is the life-changing magic of Pilates, I did want to let you know what you can expect from this video. I'll be talking about what Pilates is and my personal experience with Pilates. There will be no before and after pictures, no talk of my measurements, no talk of weight, because it's not helpful for myself, it's not helpful for you, and at the end of the day, we are all just existing on a floating rock. And I'll say this one time with feeling, this is not a weight loss video. Pilates is a low impact form of exercise that focuses on helping you to develop your core strength and to develop the strength in the muscles that align your spine spine so that you can have better posture, better balance, better mobility, stability, all of those good things. Pilates can be done with no equipment on the mat. Pilates can be done on a reformer machine with resistance in the form of a spring load. It can be done on other apparatus as well, including the Pilates chair, the ladder barrel, the tower, and the Cadillac. Pilates is good for everybody, and I say that completely seriously and wholeheartedly. Pilates is a form of exercise that you can really do throughout your lifetime. So Pilates will work for you when you are 20. It'll work for you when you're 40, 50, 60, 70. The biggest reason in that I practice Pilates is because it is the only form of exercise that I enjoy and that I have been able to be consistent with for, at this point, four years. I have rheumatoid arthritis, so there's a lot of uh, issues going on internally in my joints, and Pilates is the only form of exercise that I found that does not further aggravate my joint pain. Towards the end of 2020, my Pilates practice took a bit of a turn. And I'd say probably for the latter half, half of 2020, I wasn't really doing any Pilates. At the end of 2020, I was making plans to go back to teaching Pilates full time. With going back to teaching, I also wanted to get back into my personal practice. And I made it a goal for myself to do Pilates every day for 30 days, starting on January 1st. And that is how we got to this video. 2021 is really kind of the kickstart that I needed to get back into my personal Pilates practice. My own personal practice looks like a mix of matte Pilates and reformer Pilates. I'd say I probably do 85% matte and then the other 15% reformer just because I'm teaching on the mat six days a week. I do a lot of matte Pilates, a lot, a lot. <laughs> I also do reformer, but I probably do reformer Pilates three times a week. It really just, it depends. For me, what's kept me consistent and what's really made me able to do Pilates every day is the fact that I teach Pilates on the mat every day. Granted, those workouts that I'm teaching, they are not really my workouts. I'm doing them at about 60% mm, effort because I'm focused on teaching and watching my students and helping them to learn and develop and, and improve in their own practice. So it's not really my time to practice, but at the end of the day, I am doing Pilates. Many things have changed in my life Pilates has been the one thing that has stayed consistent. In the last year, I have moved not once, but twice. <laughs> that first move was to Denver, and for the six months that I lived in Denver, I did not go to a reformer Pilates studio one time. So I was doing primarily mat workouts for the first six months of this year. Last year, I was going through my 500 hour comprehensive Pilates teacher training. So I was doing Pilates some days for multiple hours, three, four hours a day. It was something that I needed to do to A, complete the hours, but B, improve as an instructor. Like at that point, doing Pilates for that many hours a day, it wasn't coming from a, a perspective of, I need to do this many Pilates sessions to look a certain way. It was, I need to do this many Pilates sessions so that I can understand how my body is moving so I can understand Pilates better. Somebody asked, should you be doing weightlifting or is Pilates enough? to uh, like build strength and is it enough for a fitness routine? To that question, I say like, who is telling you that Pilates is not enough? Is it somebody trying to sell you a workout plan? Like is it somebody trying to become your personal trainer and they're telling you like, oh, Pilates isn't enough, isn't enough. you have to lift weights because if that's the case, it's just straight up not true. Um, you know, I, I always tell people the best exercise for you to do is the one that you enjoy and the one that you can be consistent with. So if you enjoy Pilates and you're able to stay consistent with it, don't you think that's enough? I do. I mean, all I do is reformer Pilates, mat Pilates and walk. And that's quite literally it. And if I ever feel like I need to like lift a weight or I want to feel strong, I have 10 pound dumbbells. That's probably the highest weight that I lift just because I don't care for it. It's boring for me. So I don't like weightlifting, so I don't do it. 
I don't tell anyone that they have to do just Pilates. I, I tell people that they should have a well-rounded routine full of exercise that they enjoy. Typically with my personal Pilates practice, the workouts that I'm doing are the workouts that I'm teaching, but I also do like to do uh, Pilates workouts from other instructors. I pay for a Pilates Anytime membership. And the reason that I pay for that membership is so that I can take class with Courtney Miller. She is like one of my favorite instructors. That is gonna be one of the mat workouts that I'm doing today. This is the kind of stuff that straight up never gets easier. But I will say I have noticed definitely in the last year, I have a lot more stamina with doing core exercises. Um, when I first started teaching mat Pilates, hardest thing for me was doing the exercises and teaching at the same time. That was like <laughs> way hard. And I notice, especially now it's a lot, uh, I never want to say it's easier, but it, it feels um, like a lot less work, right? A lot less huffing and puffing. So that's definitely something that I've noticed um, differences in strength as the year has gone on. I've also definitely noticed, and this is something super specific to me, back extension and my like spine fe flexibility has definitely improved. Exercises like this used to be so difficult for me, but I've definitely found I've become a lot more comfortable with back extension and also like I just have less less fear almost. This exercise is something that a year ago I could not do. And when I was going through my comprehensive training, I was so nervous about this exercise. I think from consistently practicing and consistently committing to improving my personal Pilates practice, I've become a lot more comfortable with this exercise. And this one is none other than climb a tree. So like I even have my feet underneath a safety strap, like I am so supported, but I was nervous. You'll, you'll see, I'm gonna show you. That is something that a year ago I could not do. Tipping back and like looking way back behind me, I just, I didn't trust myself and that's something that as I've continued to try and as I've continued to learn exercises like this and exercises from the classical repertoire, I just, I feel more in tune with my body. I feel like I'm better able to trust myself with my RA. What I've noticed is that if I go a day without doing Pilates or I go a day without movement in general, that is when my joints hurt more. Specifically for me, because my RA is in my toes and in my fingers, getting up in the morning and doing even just like mobility exercises like cat cow or getting on the reformer and doing like 10 minutes of footwork like literally just pressing off the foot bar and pulling in and changing up my foot positioning i think that is what help has helped me the most to warm up my joints and be ready to go for the day because pilates does focus so much on little movements and stabilizing movements and it matters whether your toe is pointed or flexed or internally rotated or externally rotated. I'm better able to move my feet and keep those joints mobile. Throughout the last year and a half, not every day has been perfect. I've gone through like flares with my arthritis. I have had to go on and off medication. You know, not every day, not every month was perfect, but on the days that I did feel like really swollen and really uncomfortable, if I went to a Pilates class, and I went when I was feeling bad, I came out feeling better. How has doing Pilates consistently affected my life outside of Pilates? I think doing Pilates consistently has helped me to feel energized and excited about my life. And I don't, I don't know if there is necessarily a direct correlation, but I am always excited to take a Pilates class. I am always excited to teach a Pilates class. You know, doing Pilates affects my mood. It makes me feel better in my own skin. And I think that allows me to show up as authentically as I can. I think especially not even just with doing Pilates, but with teaching Pilates and teaching Pilates the way that I do at home for myself, it, I think it's helped me to be less afraid, which is pretty cool. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, please let me know. Leave me a comment down below. Remember, you guys are awesome. You can do anything you put your mind to and I will see you in our next video. I just get